So this is a very simple tutorial about using bones in meshes in Simply Cloth Pro. So let's start by adding a plane, tab it into edit mode and let's subdivide it say 10 times. Let's now shift in A and add an armature and click select the mesh and then the bone, control and P and add the armature deform. Don't worry about the weights for the time being. Once we've done that, select just the cloth and then create, click on the create cloth and then now we have our cloth mesh all ready to go to animate. So if I, if I press play now, basically it's just going to fall to the floor. So what we now need to do is create some pins to attached to this bone. So into tapping it into edit mode, I'm just selecting those four vertices around that particular bone. Then we're going to click on here, add pin layer, and we're going to call it the exact same name as the bone itself, the armature bone, which is bone. So add pin layer, B-O-N-E. Okay, and now you see we've got this um, weight here where it's red basically saying that this is weighted and everything that's blue is not weighted. So now if we press play, go back into object mode and press play, we have this link here. Now it could be that I've just set those as a pin and they're not doing it, the bone's not doing anything. But if we go back to the start and then select the bone and tab into pose mode and let's create a keyframe where it is at the moment, location I for insert and then move to say frame 100 come over here insert location let's go to frame 200 pull the bone over here so so basically I've done a little animation with my bone put back to the start frame tap back into object mode and press play and then you see that we have our bone controlling the actual mesh as well now uh, so this is uh, the reason I've done this actually is because I wanted to create a tent and I needed the the ends of the mesh here to be pinned so you can actually uh, have as many bones of course as you want as many pin layers as you want uh, so let's make a few more so with my bone selected if I tab into the actual edit mode select the bone itself shift and D in fact let me go into the top mode shift and D and just pull one over here make another one bring it over here and let's leave it at that for now so I've got two extra bones and these bones are bone 001 and bone 002 consecutively as it were so now back to object mode back to my mesh tab into um, edit mode again and just going to hide that armature for a second just to select this one vertice here and we've got add pin layer now we need to name this bone.001 so in fact let me just copy that ready to add pin layer copy and paste okay it needs to be the same name as the bone don't forget the next one here add pin layer and that's bone 002 don't need to copy and paste that okay so let's bring back our armature and pop back into whoops pop back into um, object mode now let's select our armature again and now go into pose mode and let's pose these bones so create a keyframe say there let's move that ignore the mesh for now that's a let's go to Okay, and let's just leave that one. Let's leave that one V. Back to object mode, press play, and there you see we've got now extra bones. One's not doing anything, uh, but it's still active. And so if you want to move the bones around and animate them, this is the perfect way to do it. Thanks for listening, take care, and God bless.